What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this alternate version of the NBA 2K23 cover. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe as I'm trying to grow my channel up. To begin the design, I started by placing down a red background and then I inserted my two illustrations of LeBron James and Michael Jordan. If you want to learn how to draw these NBA players, check out the other videos in my account as I have some tutorials there. And then I placed this NBA 2K logo down, I just got it off Google and just started playing around with it. As you can see here, I just selected the black text and turned it into white just because it looks a little bit better on the red. And then I wrote out GOAT edition. Obviously NBA 2K has a bunch of different editions. I'll also be creating a LeBron version. Uh, obviously he wore number 23 so don't you worry all you LeBron fans out there. And then I'll also be doing a Devin Booker edition because he's the main color athlete. So what I did here is I grabbed a picture of Google, just the background of Chicago, and then I masked the bottom out just so it blends into the red, and then I set the blending mode to overlay. So what that does is just makes it blend into the red a little bit more. And then here I grabbed another picture of Chicago, just put it in the background, did the same thing and masked everything out, and set the blending mode to overlay. And then at the bottom there you can see I chucked in a court. The Bulls court, obviously where Michael Jordan used to play, and then same thing, I just turned the opacity down a little bit. And then what I did here is I selected the 2K part, and then I created a clipping mask and chucked in some gold foil. And that just gives it some nice little detail, nice little color up there, it makes it all look legendary, whatever you want to call it. And then here, what I did is I added an exposure layer to Michael Jordan, and I would add one to LeBron James in a second too. So basically I turned up the exposure, painted it on the outside just where the light would hit, and then same thing for the shadows, so just where LeBron's covering him, I put some shadows underneath them. And then here, you can see I'm just fixing up the mask, and then adding some exposure and some shadows to LeBron, just to give it a little bit more depth, and just fit into the environment a little bit more. So for this part here, I wanted to add some light into the environment and just make the scene a little bit brighter in some aspects, some areas. So what I did is I placed a light leak down and then I set it to, I think it was overlay or maybe screen, sorry. So that just makes sure that all of the black goes away and then you just had the light features. But I didn't really like what I was doing here so I'd eventually move it out. So just here, I'm painting in a little bit into the background. I got a darker little red brush and just giving it a little bit more contrast on the edges and just darkening up the picture. I then quickly duplicated the Michael Jordan and LeBron James illustration together and then I chucked it at the bottom and set a colorful to it, black, and then I decreased the fill a little bit just to add a shadow in. At this point you can kind of see that I realized that I didn't really like the light leaks that were going on. I didn't really mess with the colors, they weren't as vibrant as I wanted them to be. So here you can just see me playing around with it a bit and trying to fix it up and you'll eventually see what I go for. Now here I added a bit of a uh, white brush to the background just to make it look like Michael Jordan and LeBron James were glowing, a bit of glow behind them. And I just decreased the fill a little bit and set the blending mode to screen. Now here's where my design really started to take on some character. I added in this nice little explosion effect, as well as these little light thingies. I don't really know what you call it, but it gives it a cool effect, gives it some motion, gives it some action. And then I just added some black brush just behind the NBA 2K23, just so it stands out a little bit more. And then here again, I'm playing around with the light leaks, which I didn't really like. And then I just added in another effect and then started playing around just with the smaller details a bit, making a little bit of adjustments here and there. Just while I'm finishing up some adjustments here, make sure you leave some comments. Um, give me some suggestions, what you guys want to see, what tutorials, what players you want to see me draw, just because I'm a new channel and just trying to figure out what you guys want and how I can help you out the best and provide the best content for you guys. So 
So as you can see, I took out that light leak, just wasn't hitting it for me. And then I just changed around the hue and saturation of some of the effects on the outside. And then I found this real cool pattern in my files, which I added, and then it just changed it to a screen overlay. And gives a really cool kind of like, I don't know, alien effect. Lastly, I grabbed the 2K logo off the internet and then just removed the background as well as this E for Everyone logo. Obviously, the real 2K covers have both of these logos on it, so I wanted to make it as realistic as possible. And yeah, that's basically the final bit. Just adding in some final touches, a little bit of details and adjusting the colors. I added in some fog below the players and then just darkened the bottom a little bit just to give it some nice gradient flow of colors. Now as you saw at the start, I had a cover for the PS5 version of it and basically how I did that is I got a PSD of somebody on a Discord server, can't remember what his name was, but I just pasted my design into there and yeah, just turned into the cover. See here I'm just making some final adjustments, adding in some smaller details, but if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and I'll make sure to answer them.